Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today we return with more EA Sports WRC content. Yes, we're back once again in career mode part 35 of our Let's Play. And we've got a few weeks before we have our next WRC2 event from the Rally Finland. So what I'm going to be doing today is competing in the Tata Communications Invitational here from Rally Monte Carlo. We need to finish P4 and we'll get 70,000 credits towards our teammate budget which could be very useful next season if we want to try and win uh, the WRC2 Constructors Championship. So for that I've had to purchase a new car and what a car it is. The Ford Escort RS Cosworth got a 2 litre engine uh, 7 speed H pattern gearbox there. Uh, 310 horsepower weighs just over a ton. Very much looking forward to jumping in with this car. We're almost on our maximum weekly vehicle budget as well. But fingers crossed we can have a good event from Monte Carlo. Hello and welcome to this exciting invitational event here at Rally Monte Carlo. Well, I don't think we'll have many complaints about the weather from the cruise this weekend. It looks to be sunny and clear throughout the event. Let's hope that the pairings can match the clear skies with some clean runs. Right, here we are then, back in Rally Monte Carlo. It looks like Molly Pettit has decided to show up for this one. Only a two-stage rally, though. This is a really, really short event, so I do apologise for that. Uh, but yeah, looks like we got the Plaid de la Art stage and then the La Marie stage here. Um, so first one yeah, is very, very slow. Second one a little bit higher speed. But I guess this is a really good kind of first test drive then for this car. Um, it is sunny here in Monte Carlo as well. So we Start shouldn't have to deal with any ice, rest. which would be quite nice. Good luck. This thing sounds good. I, I feel like we're, this is going to be a match made in heaven. Drop the hammer and let's go rallying then. Oh, it's here, it's heavy. Immediately noticing that. And boy, oh boy, the gears are short. I mean, yeah, seven speed H pattern is practically unheard of. It also doesn't stop. Um, so that's going to be quite interesting. I think it's because we're probably still on the ice tyres. Hopefully, we've got a set of softs or mediums or something like that um, that we can bowl on. Uh, but yeah, of course, used to, you know, racing the modern WRC2 car and that kind of thing. This thing, yeah, definitely feels a little bit heavier over the front. But I think it's going to be good fun here, nonetheless. So as I keep it tidy. Yeah, really got to make a conscious effort to break a little bit earlier into the corners. I mean, we'll already have a little bit of bodywork damage from that first nudge of the wall. Um, but yeah, we'll wait and see what tyres we can bolt on this thing ready for this event. Like I said, only two stages, which kind of surprised me. We don't do many um, of these kind of sponsored little one-off events here. So perhaps we've got to try more of them out. I, I do quite like the variety. You know, the fact that some rallies are kind of like an hour long, others are only 15, 20 minutes. You know, it does make it quite fun going in, because of course it does mean you have to go in with a different mindset to different events as well. But yeah, Rally Finland next time out in the WRC2 car. That, that's going to be scary. Just just putting that straight out there. Um, but yeah, this thing though. I mean, I don't know why, why they put seven gears in this car. I guess it was just about having all the power all the time. Um, but yeah, where most cars kind of around this era were five or six speed still sure a lot of people thought Ford were very, very radical, and it doesn't work badly, but it certainly is still a bit weird to get used to, especially when modern WRC2 cars, for example, still only have five gears. But there we go, then. That shake down complete. Two minutes, point six. Um, so, not, not my worst run in the world, uh, but we're certainly going to have to concentrate as we get into the event there. Exhaust and rad damage... Uh, sorry, exhaust and bodywork damage even, I should say. Nothing too surprising with that. So we'll get those both replaced. And in terms of tyres then, uh, we have only got a set of mediums and a set of hards. So we'll stick with what we've got. Um, we it, Clearly, yeah, this thing just needs a bit more careful on the brakes. Let's get in with stage one. Hopefully the nerves have settled for these two as they get ready to put themselves and their car to the test on the first stage of the rally. I mean, this thing does look beautiful. One of my old next-door neighbours actually had one of these, not the rally car, but the road-goer version, and it was a beautiful, beautiful thing. 
Um, but yeah, we're the first of 161 cars heading out. So this is going to be scary. It also means I've got no benchmark, so no idea what to aim for in this event. So we're going to have to yeah, be really careful. Just, yeah, trying to ease it around the earliest parts, get some heat into those tyres. I mean, they have just done a shakedown, but still. And, yeah, obviously we've got a service at the end of this stage, so we can get any kind of damage squared away quite quickly. Um, but, yeah, how that's going to work out for us. Like I said, beating the first car out, we've got no real benchmark. We've got no idea whether I'm going well or quite badly. That's an arm curl. We'll rub up against that, but get away with it. I mean, you've constantly got to be changing gear in this thing. Maybe you can afford to leave it in a bit higher gears in places. Um, but you kind of need all that power all the time. So yeah, definitely a lot of weight over the front, though. You can feel that when you're trying to get it through those longer corners. It doesn't understeer much. It just kind of... It's weird. It, it doesn't actually feel like inherent understeer, but it just feels very, very heavy at the front. It's like trying to drive a lorry. Not, not quite that bad. Um, Ford, please don't sue. But, yeah, it is a very, very different driving experience. It kind of feels like a mixture. It's kind of like driving a front-wheel drive that also sends power to the rear, so you don't get the understeer, but you still have to drive it very much slow down, turn, accelerate can't slide it at all. Ooh, and then you just get those little moments where the weight comes off the front and you really notice just how little there is keeping it on the road still. What's always quite funny as well when we do some of these Monte Carlo stages is recognising bits of them from the dirt games of course you know there has been a complete re-overhaul and everything like that but it is so cool you know, that little piece of history oh out and we'll leave a little piece of ford escort there in the wall be really careful i don't wreck the steering any more than it occasionally feels already So I've got no idea how competitive I am, though. Or how competitive the AI is going to be. That was slow, though. Maybe it'll really utilize the handbrake more on this thing. Oh, easy, easy, easy. So much steering needed. Get it through some of those hairpins. Slightly faster part of the stage. Says that as hairpin suddenly appears again. Oh, uh, easy. Don't start cutting corners everywhere. I've never known something that requires so much steering through the corners. Oh, Ooh, that was close. Lucky it landed flat then, otherwise it could have very easily pinged up and gone anywhere. No, 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 no. Oh, no. 
We're trapped around the wrong side of Armco. This is not good. Right, we'll just reset. That's nine nine seconds. That's okay. I was definitely going to lose more than that trying to get back on the road. So I guess we'll take it. It was either go that side of it or go square on into it. So yeah, we're definitely not going to be particularly fast by the end of this first stage. But like I said, new car, everything like that. And what a car it is still. Very different experience to anything I've really driven on this game, but still is very, very good fun. Oh no, 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 no. Too much here and lock that time. Never thought I'd say that in this car. Ow. Yeah, definitely gonna have a lot of bodywork damage to sort out. Just need to put like foam in the corner. Oh, that was close. Nope. <gasps> no, 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 don't fall off. Oh. I've, I've Austin powered it. No, I'm going the wrong way on the gears. Go. Go. That's that's where the steering, yeah, really, really hurts. Oh. Ow. I think we're going to be a little way down by the end of this one, but we're driving an iconic rally car on the iconic rally. Don't think we can be too upset, can we? How things are going this morning. Not long to go with stage one. This has been a lot longer than I thought it would be. Ooh, I thread the needle. Yeah, you can really see just how much WRC cars have improved still over the last 20 years or so. Just in the drivability of them. But up over the line, 8 minutes 29.3. I mean, it's not going to be a fantastic time, but we already knew that. Um, hopefully I'm not, you know, a million miles away from some competent runners. Well, obviously you've lost some time through a couple of spins and that Austin Powers moment and that almost roll. Um, but anything more than like 25 seconds I'm going to be pretty gutted with. Okay, uh, we're, we're a lot further back than I thought. 44 seconds there we lost in that first stage. Um, looks like our top few, though, were absolutely rapid relative to everyone else. Like I said, we're just going to enjoy ourselves on this one. So let's get, let's get ready for number two. Well, it's been a brilliant show of driving so far in this event. And we are now at the final stage for these crews. Who will come out on top? Let's wait and see. Our car is a little Start bit beat up as we go into stage two. But hopefully we can just have a slightly better run than we did through stage one there. Lost way more time than I thought of. Although I say that, I probably... Oh, I'm going that way. I probably lost 15 or so seconds in that first little moment where I ended up the wrong side of the guardrail. And probably another 10, 15 seconds uh, in that Austin Powers moment. So actually, I think 45 is still not good. Uh, but I can understand 25 seconds was opt optimistic. I think at the end of that first stage, unless we've been quicker 
in a lot of places. But yeah, this second one, though, very high speed, especially through the second half. So maybe we can try and claw back a little bit and walk away with a decent result. I'm definitely not going to get that top four, though. That has gone way out the window. Would have been nice, um, but we'll, we'll still do some work behind the scenes. But there's not many events in the second half of the year for WRC 2, so there will probably be a lot of setup and things like that ready for next season's campaign. Try not to ping off walls too much. That being said, though, despite how not great that first stage went, loving this car. Brilliant fun. actually get 70 gear out of it towards the end of this one. That'd be nice. Here we go. Nope, not quite. There we go. Seventh gear. How quick is this thing actually overall? Oh, it's still only about 190 clicks. Let's say this is high commitment. Oh, that was more than a high commitment. That was just fragrant cheating. Don't hit that. Thank you. Oh, that was quite ragged. We know there's that one coming up, so I won't bother shifting up. You find the apex, though, through there. So happy with that. And now, yeah, I think it's basically flat to the finish. You never got more than about 25 clicks between having to change up each time. Oh, this corner's horrible. This corner's horrible. Because you can't cut it the way you think you can. Uh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, that's been a... Oh, no! <laughs> right at the end. Right at the end. So we've probably lost about 12 seconds from that. That is so frustrating. How far off would we have been on that stage? Smooth run through that stage, and it looks like this crew will maintain their position in the standings for now. Well, we might just have beaten Kremiux by the end of that rally there, but that, that's that been quite a difficult one, uh, all things considered. Maybe, maybe with a bit more practice we can be a bit more competitive, but as a fun little one-off, that has been very, very enjoyable there. Thank you all so much for watching this video as always. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like. Get yourself subscribed. I'm definitely going to be driving that car a bit more on this game. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back, I believe, next time out ready for Rally Finland. That is going to be scary. A massive thank you to all of my YouTube members and my Patreon supporters for their continued donations to help my work. These things go much further than I think a lot of you ever realise and allow me to continue making content full-time here on YouTube. So if you want to support me from as little as £1 a month and be featured on all of these end clips, either click the join button next to the subscribe or head over to my Patreon. There's a link down in the description.